Scientists say this is potentially an astonishing moment in human history. The discovery of markers of life on a planet 124 light years from Earth. It's called K218b. It's probably covered in ocean. It's a long way away, but could there be life there? I put the question to the man from Cambridge University who's made the discovery and asked him just how excited he is about what he's found. I'm very excited, but I must also say I'm even more cautious than, than being excited uh, because of the magnitude of what, uh, what we're finding. Uh, potentially, how, how big a piece of news is this? Oh, this is very big. This is as big as it gets, certainly in exoplanet science, the science of studying planets around other stars. And, and this is why we are very cautious, is that this is one of the most foundational questions we have been asking as a species for the longest time in our history. Okay? So it is in no one's interest to claim the detection of life beyond Earth, let alone beyond the solar system, without robust evidence. But we are on the path to it. That is the important point. So what we are detecting are molecules which have been predicted by multiple studies over the last two decades to be robust indicators of life. And we are seeing initial signs of them. And that is huge. What's this planet look like? So this planet is uh, eight, uh, nine times uh, the mass of Earth, two and a half times the radius of uh, the size of Earth. So it's big compared to Earth. Um, and the currently, based on current knowledge, uh, all the data of the last couple of years that we have, our best explanation to everything that we have so far is that it is an ocean world with a hydrogen rich atmosphere. Do we know what this life could look like? Are we talking bacteria or are we talking large organisms? So we are obviously not at a position to answer that question right now, right? That's a very complex question. But the baseline assumption is that these gases are produced by microbial life on Earth. Okay? A DMS and DMDS, dimethyl sulfide, dimethyl disulfide, are produced by algae and organic matter in general. So that is our baseline assumption that at least you expect microorganisms like that, simple life, to be producing similar types of gases. All of us, like the entire species, have evolved from very simple microorganisms billions of years ago on Earth. We don't know how we got here. First of all, even on Earth, we don't know how life started. But then from there to evolving to complex life and to intelligent life, and then being able to question if there is something else like us out there and being able to find the first signs of it by sending a probe into space which can gaze the universe. That is huge. We take all of these things for granted. But when you put these things in perspective, it gives you a sense of pride of just being human, like how far we have actually come. So the potential that this is huge, but if you're concerned that little green men in flying saucers are going to arrive anytime soon, it's worth remembering that that planet is 187,000 years away if you were to travel on the fastest spaceship we have on this planet. So nowhere near, but very exciting.